And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a deck I've been excited to play. We're playing some Bilgewater Yoink because we are going to be stealing our opponent's cards. We're going to be yoinking them. So we have some things to do that. We got our Black Market Merchant that if we have Plunder turned on, we draw one from the enemy deck. We have Pilfered Goods to draw one from the enemy deck. And if we uh, Plunder, we get to draw two. Um, we have the Yordal Grifter, which has the Allegiance trigger, which we will always hit because we got 40 Bilge Water cards in here. Draw one from the enemy deck. Also, create a warning shot. Let's get to draw two with the Yordal Grifter. Um, and then we are also going to be playing the Sleight of Hand, which will probably be annoying our opponent, where we will draw a card from their hand. So we just take a random non-champion from their hand. Now, unfortunately, even though it, it isn't worded this way, like that card says non-champion. Um, if you look at Pilter Goods, it does not say non-champion, but I guess uh, Riot has come out and, and said that you do not get champions with Pilter, Pilfered Goods either, so I assume you don't get champions with any of them, which is unfortunate. Um, earlier today, whenever I put this together, I definitely thought that we could get champions, and I was super excited about that, but still, um, you know, we're going to be taking what we can. Besides that, we're kind of aggressively slanted. You know, we got a couple of one drops. We're trying to turn on plun because we're trying to turn on Plunder um, quite a bit. Jaw, we then we just have like some generically good cards. I'm excited about like Jaw Hunters. Um, you know, it's just it's just a good removal spell that creates a sea monster for you. So it gets you another card. Of course, the Yordle Grifter. Um, this is just a, a very solid Allegiance card. And then our champions, we have Misfortune and Gangplank, so we can uh, get some damage in. So this would be a fun uh, Bilgewater mid range Yoink deck. Uh, let's do it. This is going to be sweet. Bilgewater Yoink. This is this is the deck I've been really excited to play today. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if we if we get paired against the Undying No, no Champion deck, then we can steal any card. <laughs> um Jinx Draven more aggro. I think I'll keep the five mana five five against the aggro deck. It's just re it's really big, but it is a five drop because I already have like things to be doing kind of early. I think I can keep that. did kind of want to like wait like play make it rain do one damage to the opponent and then drop both of these one drops that would have been really cool but we'll just play this 2-2 get some get an attack in hopefully nope get bloody, get paid. All right, next turn, maybe we can make it rain plus Butcha. I don't get the, you know, vulnerable thing, but oh well. Two mana, two, three. Can do some stuff. First big mission. Just gonna put this here. Ooh, got some fight in ya. Better run. Probably wasting this make it rain. Probably. Yeah, that's what I was going with. Make it rain, trigger plunder. Oh, I should I should start with the higher gun, because this is the strongest enemy. This isn't I choose. So I wanna give this thing vulnerable. I want to play this, they play something else, then I... Yeah, so I... Oh well. Looks like we're giving that thing vulnerable.
What am I do? I could have just attacked. I could have blocked with the 2 3 and then attacked for 3. Yeah, I could have had these switch now. I just already had that set in before they did their thing. Yeah. Yeah, this Demolitionist is awesome. There's Transfusion. That card is great. Dude, Crimson Disciple has looked like such an all-star over some of these games. Two, two of our losses with Twisted Ezreal were just specifically to Crimson Disciple. And this one's looking uh, just like it. Fine. Man, I wish I could double spell. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Won't find better this side of the oh, what a card to play. Gives them a lot of blockers. Yeah, I wish we could have double spelled. I mean, I guess I could have double spelled if I played this brave in, and then I would have drawn some spell that we would be able to cast. But I liked getting the misfortune trigger in here because that means I got to attack with the two ones because I couldn't block with and not let them be able to block with the jinx. I wish this wasn't slow speed. Right now, I'd like to do one to the Grenadier. Alright, so I'm gonna go Yordle, Grifter, or Zap, Sprayfin. Both of them pretty good options. Probably go with the Grifter first. Draw something from them right away. If they have three direct, you know, basically they have to have Get Excited to win. If they don't have Get Excited, this is going to kill them. Looks like they have Get Excited. Wow. That's really unfortunate. Dang. 
perfect damage. Man, that Crimson Disciple, again, dealt a lot of damage and, and got them in that position. The three mana three two with the blockers. Uh, that worked really well for him. We were just a tad slow. Yeah, I like all these cards. We'll see how much like hired gun really works in this scenario. We need to plunder. Get bloody, get paid. Awesome. Come on, take two, take two. Don't stand in my way. Take two. It's just two damage. Just take it. Yeah. Let's take their cards. What do we got? Ooh, a Razor Scale Hunter. And now, like, every card that we take, you know, costs one less. This is our Yoink deck. Yoink. Yoink. Oh my gosh, a, pilter, a Pilfered Goods. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we're... Our Pilfered Goods stole a Pilfered Goods. Oh, this is great. This is great. Um, I'm not sure what I want to play. Guess we're going to play this Razor Scale Hunter. Get an empty mana gem. Wolf Rider's awesome. Grab five mana next turn. Ideally, next turn I play Misfortune, I get to attack with this scout thing, then it trades, and we'll just block. Ideally, that's that's what would happen, and you know we get the two attacks while Misfortune's out there. Alright, so the cards we steal won't cost one less anymore. What do we get? A Tusk Raider? I don't have a Sejuani. Slide of Hand! Nice. We have a lot of these Make It Rains. We have a lot of these Mega Rains. What? So what do you what do you mean, Gary? What? I guess can you can you kind of re reword your question? You said what's the buy-in on this game to be competitive? Like, like do you think there's going to be a competitive scene, or competitive in the market with other card games? I'm not sure which, what you mean, or what your question is. Hey there, Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. Oh, okay. How much money is it going to cost to go from nothing to competitive for deck building? Okay. Um, uh, zero dollars. You do not need to spend money. It, it will take you a little bit of time, but there's awesome rewards in the game. There's uh, different reward tracks. You can you can earn the game, earn the cards. 
before the new set, you could earn basically everything in about five weeks. Uh, now, with, you know, six weeks, seven weeks, you know, maybe a, two months, like, you, you can earn basically everything. But as far as just competitive decks, you could start earning those in a, just a couple, you know, couple weeks. You can you can start out on the ladder with the, the beginning decks. Like, the beginning decks are very, are very reasonable for you to start out on the ladder with. And work your way up. I do have 10 cards in hand. I can't draw anymore. I have to keep playing stuff. Alright, Drew Misfortune. Let's take one of their cards. What else you got over here in your hand? Ooh, a Wolf Rider? Yeah, get, get a Mana Gem. Yeah, mana jumps are sweet. Smell that bark, fear. Sweet. This looks could kill. They can, and they have. Yeah, um, the best starter deck for a while. The best starter deck's been the spider deck. Um, and that's really kind of been the only starter deck that I really remember, because that's been the best one. But, th that probably still is the case. But, uh, there is a lot of stuff in the metagame and in, like, in this new set that's good against spiders. Um. So, honest honestly, I don't really remember the other sets super well. How close are we to being deep? Wow, we are forever away from being deep. Um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of taking it a little bit here. I guess we just... Oh, I need I need the plunder trigger for this. Never mind. I forgot about that plunder trigger. Alright, so... We are going to play this thing. Where's our gangplank at? Four, three out of five. Yeah, the elusive deck is really yeah, it's pretty easy to to put together, but it's yeah, so that's that's honestly that's a good one to go for, but it's it's not it's not one of the starter decks. Um Rip their flesh. Just block here. Love ya. Basically taking this thing down into into attacks. No, don't steal any of my cards. What are you doing? I'm the one yoinking cards. Ugh, that was a great card to yoink. That was a great card to yoink. I'm surprised they didn't do the misfortune though, but. Yeah, like, on, that's that's the exact block I wanted to make. <laughs> like, what do they what do they do? That's that was the block I wanted to make. Yeah, yeah. So th there's the champion less undying deck, and the elusive deck. Those are probably the two. Like, best ones to start building towards. Kind of the problem with my blocks is... It's supposed to be down to four. Oh, 
Oh, is this, this is going to do three damage to battling enemies and the enemy Nexus. Easy, tiger. Alright, so maybe we won't have time to really do anything with the Tusk Raider. <clears throat> Probably just gonna have to start casting these Make It Rains. Make It Rain. Let's see, if we cast all four, that's eight mana, so we have three three more mana. Sorry I've been playing this, this game so slow. There's just so many different things to do. Now having a make it rain. Love ya. Okay, Yodel Grifter is not bad. So I think my plan is. Let's see, so this puts it down to six. I think my plan is to just cast all these Make It Rains on their combat. Maybe kill them, potentially. Potentially. What do we get? Oh, I wish I had the mana for Citrus Courier. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. Shouldn't have played this Dreadway Deckhand. So everything's taking two damage beginning of the turn. That was pretty cool. I let this happen first. Why is this doing three damage? Why is theirs doing three damage? The ships? Oh, the sirens. I thought those things had more text. Son of a 
All right, well, one ship's down. Stand and fight. That's Captain so I think... Oh, I only have... I can only cast one more of these. Right. Don't get ahead of yourself. Well, I just gotta hope this, this does one damage to them. Yes! That's only gonna do two. That's gonna do two. Do they have another one of those? They do not. Wow, this is so close. This is so many make it rains. Barely enough. We squeaked it out. Exact exact Z's. No, whoever whoever kills the other person first wins, so we won. Oh, I, I forgot that I had the rally thing. Right. That was like the reason why I did that six six bandit thing. Man, there's just okay, I played that just pretty slowly and and very hesitantly. It's just all sorts of new cards, and I just, you know, have, like, so many of them. I didn't process that game the best. Alright, yeah, we're keeping this. <laughs> yeah, we got that damage to the face. I mean, that's... I mean, we were fortunate. That's why. That's why we're playing Misfortune. That right there. That's why we have Misfortune in our deck. Yeah, there is a Stream Decker-like site for this this game. Yep. Um, there you go. That's that's the link to all my decks, and then that's Mobile Addicts. There's there's basically two sites that I I like a lot that I use. Um, there's Mobile Addicts, that side. It has all my decks on there. Um, and uh, on the left-hand side, there's a great, uh, you know, deck search. There's, like, top decks. There's meta decks. Um, but then also you can search for just, like, you know, every, you know, all sorts of players put their decks on there. And you can search for, like, whatever cards. If you're like, I want to play, um, you know, Prowling Cutthroat. And you just, you know, you have that and... It's a wonderful search, uh, tech search uh, option on there. Alright, uh, we're gonna kinda die to the Zed. <laughs> That's true, I did not miss the fortune. Keep this Zed from leveling up. Um, besides that, also decksofroomterra.com is the other one besides Mobile Addicts that I'll use uh, that also does a good job. be playing Omen Hawk. I want to just pass, but oh, I guess I guess I, I can play this thing too. And then we still have Make It Rain mana. I guess I don't have Sleight of Hand mana now. Maybe it's bad that they're playing Omen Hawk because I really want to kill these these things. Get Omen Hawk. Make a rain.
Yeah, go ahead, Zufar. Right. Or actually, no. They cannot strike what I don't know. All right, come on, kill the Zed, please. Yes! Dude, these Maker Reigns have been doing so good for us. I mean, they could have... They can have a, the one-mana spell to save their Zed, which I hope they don't. Darn it. Elixir of Iron, that is. Never stop shooting. They won't suffer long. Okay, well then, yeah. Go ahead, Zubar, go ahead. Not really gonna keep this Zed from. I kinda wanna just take all this. Clear off. Oh, let's see, they're at eight. Oh, they're gaining life. I'm just not keeping this Zed from leveling up, no matter what I do. No, yeah, yeah, I did see that combo. Yeah, the Ledro ship. That is a pretty crazy combo. The Ledros with the ship um, being a one-turn kill. If you have the ship in play, that doubles your skills. It just doubles the Ledros thing just to be a one-turn kill. When we're done, I'm taking your head. That's pretty awesome. We have to do some kind of blocking. I sense fear. You've concerns, do you? <laughs> Yeah, Joe says I'm good. I have not lost any weight. Alright, so they don't have lethal. We can block both parts of Zed. They only have two... Um, right now elusive too elusive right now if they have the seven drop i lose that's the card i really don't want to see or if they just have multiple elusive bodies but we're you know if if they play something we get to play the spray fin and draw and maybe we draw i don't know something that's good no that's the seven drop that's literally the card I did not want to see. Ugh, yep, we lose. That was the best card. Can't, can't block both of these. 
Uh, last game we won a super super close one. This game we lost a super super close one. One point. One point away. Last time we won by one point. This time we lost by one point. Because you know we could cast that make it rain, but that would put them down to one. Um. So close. All right, we need more Yoink cards. Get on in there. Oh, sorry, big Hearthstone fan. Uh, favorite new decks. Yesterday we had uh, two that looked really, really good with Sejuani Frostbite and Demonia, Demacia Sacrifice. But both of those decks didn't. They didn't really have new cards. <laughs> they had just a couple of new cards. Um, uh, and. Um, and so they're not exactly like a, a real new card build, but both of those decks look really strong. Today, this was the deck that I was looking forward to the most. With, you know, just mono build water, so mono new cards. All right, so lesson learned. I should have waited till post combat to play the deck hand. Probably. I think if I would have just passed turn. Um, if I would have just passed turn, do you think they would have just played this misfortune and then it would have jail jaw hunters and then take uh, been able to take it? Maybe. Okay, yeah, you like it. You like Ash? Love Frail Yord, so yeah. Check that one out, the Sejuani deck. So many, so many triggers. I wish I would have tried it out and just passed and then seen if they would have played Misfortune and then I would have Jaw Hunters it. That would have That would have been better. Set sail. Finger on the trigger. I've got us covered. Best run while you can. I'm not quite sure yet, client. We haven't, you know, we'll play that later on. We're going down the the line. So I'm not really quite sure about um, Fizz Elusives yet. We'll see. Yeah, we'll kind of, we'll see how that looks. So I, I think I need to Jaw Hunters this thing. 
I want to play these things first and maybe they spend more mana and kind of tap out. Okay, we got Misfortune out of here. That's clutch. But misfortune is making it really, really difficult to block, that's for sure. So does Misfortune not reset to be zero? Is it just two out of four now? These aggro decks have been looking good. We've been losing to lots of aggro. We've been playing against a whole lot of aggro. We've been looking good. Crimson Disciple and Misfortune. Those have been the two cards. They're great. We, we, again, didn't really steal anything. The game we won, we stole a whole bunch of cards from our opponent. And that was awesome. Alright, let's get rid of this. So we're playing against... Karma as Jaw Hunters, even though Jaw Hunters dies very easily, it does replace itself by creating the random sea monster in hand, so I like it. I'm not sure if I like it <laughs> to have all of my cards be Jaw Hunters. Not sure I like it that much. Good games, Prince. GG's. Hey, Kurtash, I'm doing great. Yeah, happy to see you. Hope life's been treating you well. Thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh. This could be good. Did you try Swain Ezreal? No, I have not. The Swain Plank deck that we're about to play, Swain plus Gangplank, is going to be my first time playing Swain. be just really dumb. I'm basically doing this because six mana we can play this and play sleight of hand. This could be really dumb with the four mana deal one to two different things and then I don't even get to play sleight of hand.
Yeah, pretty dumb. Better than eat. At least I shouldn't have had two of those out at the same time. Yeah, give me that Yone. Give me that Yone. Yeah, well, this is April 2017. Nice. Yeah, but how's, how's life been? I know it's, you know, we've had some crazy times. Keep up, keep up. Go rain. Alright, so the Plank Man is two out of five. My plan right now is next turn, Gangplank, get a Powder Keg, then make it rain. After the Powder Keg, so it does two damage to everything. Play like two, three drops though, or a two and a four. Neither the flames nor the depths could claim me, Captain. Um, yeah, I don't really have any plans to play Magic again right now. Still really li liking this game, especially with the new set that just came out. It's on mobile now. Kurtash, if you haven't if you haven't checked this out, if you haven't checked out Legends of Runeterra, we're on you know it's on mobile. Um, the mobile's really slick. I did a draft last night in bed before going to sleep. That was really cool, just being able to draft. You've concerns, do ya? Okay, yeah, the app's really slick. It's just like playing on the computer. All right, got rid of both of the Shadow Assassins. Very good Make It Rain. Shouldn't this be four out of five now with the Gangplank? Wasn't that just number four? Doing damage here. Yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff in here. Um, I haven't been playing this perfectly, I will admit. But, yeah, so they know about the Yone in, in my hand, because I stole it from them, so they want to go straight to combat before I Yone. But there's just so many decisions, so many cool things to be doing here. Nice. I'll take that, Yone. More Yones. No, it's really not difficult to start the game. This is... It's very... This is as easy as it can be to start a uh, competitive card game. And 
you really don't need to like invest money you can you can grind and you know just start with like the beginner decks and grind from there and and uh you know grind a collection you know fairly easily more so than other card games easier than other card games I'm one of the good guys but not that good really want to play pilfer goods but it's probably just better to play misfortune uh, I'm gonna be casting the warning shots I'm just gonna be casting the warning shot now to make it four out of five for gangplank leveling up yeah so they know they know that I stole one Yone they don't know about this Yone All right, well, that's not bad. I don't really want... I don't want my gang, Gangplank to die in combat. Uh, it doesn't have regeneration either. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. If you spend money, yeah, you can you can just use you just use money to um, you don't even ha you can buy wild cards and then get the cards, but you can also just use the coins that you get just to craft cards. So you don't you don't buy packs in this game. You always basically get get exactly what you want. It's all about wild cards and getting getting the cards that you want. There are you know chests that you earn um, that have random cards in them. But they also have a lot of shards that. You, you use to craft. Let them bleed out. All right, keep that thing from blocking. And I don't have to worry too much about, like, doing this stuff pre-combat and them playing a Yone because I have Yones. Oh, I played the wrong Yone. I played the one that I got from their from their deck. This game, it's not like Arena where, you know, they know I have one Yone. It doesn't matter which Yone I play. They know about the exact one, and so I didn't play the exact one they knew about, so now they still know about this one. Yep, Sleight of Hand is a discard spell. That you that you get yeah you get to steal one of their cards in hand, and then you get you know put it in your hand and then you get to play it. Which I think that's pretty powerful. You can't steal champions though. So leveled up Gangplank has the attack trigger now. Deal one to all enemies and the enemy Nexus. Alright, well they're not dead yet. But they had to use two Get Exciteds to stay alive instead of, you know, two, you know, Get Exciteds, that's, you know, those are lightning bolts. That's three damage to me. Like, they had two of them. So that's a big deal when he's staying alive there. And unfortunately, they still know about this Yone. They they should know that I have because I played two Jaw Hunters. They should know that two of my cards are beast below or like not beast blows, but just uh, sea monsters. They should know that I have, that I do have two sea monsters. All right, I do not want them attacking with Ezreal. 
I do not want them to hit me and create a mystic shot. No, thank you. No, thank you. What if they just play like a new Ezreal? You're playing a Maokai Hecarim deck, managed to level up both of them and obliterate their deck twice? wasn't necessarily a good deck, but you won some games in hilarious faction fashion. Nice. That's always good. Um. Grant that thing vulnerable. They have leveled up Karma, so all their spells are going to be doubled, but they, but Ezreal is not leveled up, so we don't just take damage from them casting spells. That's the good news. The bad news is, of course, leveled up Karma. Ooh. Let's go. Get him, Gangplank. Gangplanks look solid. Attack trigger is just going to do two damage to all enemies and enemy nexus. Two damage to them and all their enemies. You've concerns, do you? Uh, that's really bad. That levels up Ezreal. That's really bad. No, <laughs> it's like the worst card. I wanted to get excited to kill this. B squared, yeah, definitely fine in decks we like. I like a lot of the cards in this deck. It still needs a little tuning. It's a little rough around the edges, but I like the cards that we got in this deck. But unfortunately, Karma Ezreal is just going to kill me like this combo. Alright, so basically the problems with our deck, um, the reason why we didn't win more, which I guess that's just said the same thing twice, was we did have too many like low power cards and didn't have enough, um, like one, we didn't have enough removal, that's one, and then two, we had too, too many of like these cheap cards that didn't really do very much, like deck hand, hired gun. There's a couple of times the deckhand would make a powder keg, which was great with Misfortune, like a couple of times. But we need a little bit more removal. Um, as far as if, you know, so we can, the thing about this deck is this is like the first, um, you know, first kind of try with the deck where I have all 40 Bilgewater cards. We can splash for anything. 
you, you can even though we're going to be an allegiance deck and yordle grifter is awesome with this allegiance trigger you can still play three copies of another region very easily even you know maybe we could go six so we can spl splash any one or any you know or two cards if we want but any one card from any region so there's definitely room to make to make the deck better um you know i've started with all the bilgewater cards to see what, what we liked i'd say that i i didn't love the hired gun man i forgot about black market merchant we only drew black market market merchant in one game right we only had this card in one game like the like the very first game or maybe the second game either the first or the second game besides that we never saw this card ever um but yeah you know so maybe like you know maybe it's just maybe it is too many twos and i need to have i think i need you know probably need to have like some more top end i need to have some more removal and just and more top end those two things um so that could be like more like riptide rex or you know we can we can go to any other um region for more top end i was thinking that the hunters was going to get me some more like sea monsters for top end cards i also didn't play this perfectly like that that last game with that karma ezreal how i threw out the second jaw hunters and then which just completely played into static shock maybe if i don't play into static shock there we could have had some more um some more pressure on them and maybe that would have made a big difference if i would have played that uh that turn i guess that was turn five if i would have played that turn five differently So you know we'll keep working on it, but there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff going on. I really do like Slide of Hand. I think Slide of Hand's strong. Uh, Misfortune and Gangplank both looked good. Our champions, when we had those, Grifter was good. Sprayfin's just pretty solid. Um, and you know like a lot of these other cards are, are pretty decent with like the the Merchant, the Make It Rain, the Pilfered Golds, the Hunter. Just our one drops like this Prowling Cutthroat was really underachieving. And like maybe this hired gun wasn't really that great either. You know, we could probably have a better second one drop and a better two drop if we want to splash into another region. So there's, so, you know, we'll have to kind of look around and see what we want to do. Um, as far as removal in this region, I do like, oh, is the five mana card not in this region? Oh, I guess, I guess that's a Demacia card, the five mana card where two things deal damage i was thinking that was maybe this region um i don't really like scrap shot too much um yeah these cards are kind of meh there's some options you know we can definitely splash also yeah we could splash some pilt over get some thermogenic beam and mystic shot for example we could just do that um, Mystic Shot being another way that we can that we can uh, turn on um, uh, plunder. We could splash, uh, yeah. Like so, so there's there's options. Yeah, Boom Crew Rookie. That's a great two drop. Um, yeah. <clears throat> the Misfortune Ship, maybe. That ship looked good when we played against it. The Siren. Did look good. Maybe. This could be a top end card to have. And the scout's really nice. I, I could definitely see playing a couple of these. Yeah, it, it looked good. For sure, we played against it the one time. Alright, so there we go. Bilgewater Yoink. Um, we didn't get to do too much yoinking, unfortunately. We, ne you know, we never drew Black Market Merchant. We only played um, Slide of Hand like twice. We didn't draw our Yoink cards as much, but definitely a fun deck, and you know we can we can work on it. There's a lot of good stuff here that we can uh, clean up the edges. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, feel free to leave some comments if you got any suggestions of cards to splash. You know, let me know if you like maybe Mystic Shot and Boom Crew Rookie, or if you got other suggestions, uh, feel free to put them in over there. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Bilgewater Yoink, and I'll see you for the next video.